We're back at the grind. All right, guys, it's uh, 12.30 a.m. at night, and I'm doing some of the things that I think are important to stay ahead of the game, and that's working at 12.30 at night. It's being willing to do what other people aren't willing to do. When you're first starting out your business, that'll keep you alive. Most businesses don't last because you'll see a lot of business owners trying to go home at five in the afternoon when any entrepreneur knows that that's not what you can do if you want to win. So I got the dump truck fired up. Gonna go get it loaded up for tomorrow morning. We gotta deliver some material and go fix a job that we've already done once, but they had a house being built and the builder pretty much let all the other contractors just destroy the driveway running petty bones and other heavy equipment up and down the driveway and filling the rest full of water and let it get it saturated. So we're gonna go fill it in with some rubble material, go get the truck loaded right now and get things ready to go. So first thing in the morning, we can go. All right, we got climbed up on top of the pile. We'll go hop in the dump truck real quick. Backed up here, if I don't fall down this pile. That was the best part of the video. <laughs> yeah, but in other, anyways. Move 
when I was not around Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about My name came up a lot of sounds, more when I was not around Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about My name came up a lot of sounds, more when I was not around Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about My name came up a lot of sounds, more when I was not around Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about Know that they ride or die, I keep boy by my seat. Know that they ride or die, I keep boy by my seat. Oh, gee, boy. Then we hustle past the night. Oh, gee, boy. Know that they ride or die. Oh, gee, boy. Know that they ride or die, I keep boy by my seat. Know that they ride or die, I keep boy by my seat. guys so this is a job we're on we put in this road clear cut all these trees put this driveway in and put six inches of crushed asphalt in with six inches of sand underneath and the builders in between the process of bringing materials back to the house rutted it all up let it get saturated with water and this is what we got so now we're the customer wants a cheapest solution possible so we're gonna take asphalt rubble and kind of fill all the very very soft spots and then cap it off with some sand and put some more crushed asphalt in because it's definitely muddy
that's what we're going to be using for fill. Sheesh. What a mess. Let's get her filled in and see what we can do.